I'm doing this to avoid this question. Yes, I'm a girl. Here's a list of all the cubes I picked for this video. I picked them because over time these cubes are still the best you can get. All these cubes are lubed in tension and all of them will not stop you at all from getting sub 9 solves if you are that fast. All these cubes are really good so the purpose of this video is just for you to see each of them for what they are and decide which one suits you the best. I'm going to kick it off with a Zanchi. A Zanchi is old but it's still one of the best you can get. The feeling of a Zanchi, the outside feels kind of uh, boxy, maybe slightly blocky. When you're turning it, it feels smooth, but at the same time it's crispy. And by crispy I mean when you're moving the puzzle, you could feel that slight bump as you move pieces over each other. A uh, Zanchi can be fast or slow, depending on how you lube it. Um, so speed is not an issue. Corner cutting is nice on this, it can do 45 degrees, and reverse is nice also. Uh, Zenchis have a slight lock-in, just a little bit, uh, mostly none, but there's still a little bit of lock-in to it. And sometimes it does pop, depending on how loose your tensions are. Uh, but popping is not an issue, but it can happen every once in a while. Overall, this cube is nice, uh, great performing cube. Next is the Fengxi. I've chosen the Guanying because out of all the Fengxis, I believe the Guanying is the best. Uh, it feels nice. It doesn't feel too boxy. It just feels great in your hands. The speed of this thing is super fast. I had to over lube it just to slow it down because this thing is just flying. Corner cutting is nice. All these cubes have really nice corner cutting. Uh, has a little bit of lock into it, just a little bit. Uh, with careful turning though, you should not get any locks, but it is still a little possible. And pop-in will never happen on this thing. The feeling has that slight scratchy type of feel to it. But just a very little uh, scratchy feel, just a tiny bit. Next cube is the Cyclone Boys. Fei Hong. It uh, is not too popular. A lot of people don't use it. It only comes in white, but it's such a great cube. The feel of it feels nice on the outside, but when you're turning it, it's so smooth. It has almost like that nice swishy butter feel to it. It's this unique smoothness to it. It could be overwhelmingly smooth sometimes it just depends but I love the smoothness of it it reminds me of a Sheng Shao Aurora if you've ever felt that cube that's the kind of smoothness this cube has corner cutting of course is very nice locks hardly ever happen on this thing it just powers through a lot of things pop-in almost never happens I don't remember ever getting a pop on this so I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, no, it doesn't pop. Overall, it's just a great cube. Whoops. But overall, it is a great cube. Cons, though, it only comes in white, so that's why it's not really much of a popular cube. <clears throat> and it is a 56 millimeter cube. Next cube is the Gans 357 millimeter. Uh, Felix started using this. I'm not sure if he's still using it now, but he started using it. This cube is fast. You can make it fast or slow, much just like the Zanchi, depending on how you lube it. It is really smooth. A very smooth puzzle. Uh, corner cutting is of course nice. I do get some lockups with it because I. it feels like it's a little bit wobbly-ish. So I tend to get lockups quite a bit sometimes on this. Let's see. Well, but that's just mostly me. But um, yeah, I tend to get a little bit lockups on this thing. Uh, and pops never happen on this. Overall, it's 
great performing and fast. But the uh, con for me is I get small lockups on this more than other cubes. Next cube is the New Island 3x3 slash bullfight. I say slash bullfight because bullfight, it's this cube is the bullfight, except bullfight is much cheaper to buy. Same cube. This cube is fast. Nothing is wrong with the speed. The feeling has that slight sand feeling, just a tiny bit. But overall, it's it's smooth and move fluently very well. Corner cut in is nice. I uh, don't really experience locks on this. It barely, barely, barely ever lock on me, and I never had a pop on this either. Uh, I, th I think popping is possible, but it's just so little that you probably will never notice a pop on this. Overall, this cube is very nice. It only comes in black and stickerless at the moment. Alright, next cube is the Yuxin or Yushin or something like that, 3x3. It feels fine when you're touching it on the outside. The first thing you notice are these big weird holes and the circular looking center. The speed of this is fast, but you can get it fast or slow depending on how much lube you want to put in it. Corner cutting is good. Good corner cutting cube. Um, hardly ever get a lockup on this thing. I would say this thing powers through a lot of issues. It doesn't really have lockups. Uh, maybe just a tiny bit, but nothing noticeable at all. And I've never gotten a pop unless you have it on super, super loose tensions. Looser than that, you know? And that's kind of pretty loose already. The plastic feels different from other 3x3s, I would say. To me, it has that toyish feel to it. Like I'm kind of playing with a toy in a way. That's what it reminds me of. I mean, I know Rubik's Cubes, people can consider them toys and stuff, but it's just when you feel this, it just, the plastic feels very toy-like. Overall, this performs really nicely. Oh. Gosh, yep, that's me for you. It performs really nicely, and I use it as my blind main. Alright, so these set of cubes will be uh, Moyu and YJ. So let's start off with the YJ cube that I have chosen for this video. It's the Yulong. It's a really nice cube. Uh, the feel is smooth, but slightly crispy. Yeah, it has that a uh, snap to it, like when you're cubing, you you can just it feels like it's snapping at you in a way. Speed is really fast. None of these cubes are slow unless you uh, purposely or accidentally overload them. They're generally fast cubes. Corner cutting is nice. Uh, this cube tends to lock up on me though, uh, for some odd reason. I don't know uh, what it is. But I tend to mess up algorithms, and I tend to lock up a bit on this more than on other cubes. This cube pretty much never pops. Overall, I would say this is very nice. Uh, most of these cubes feel nicer than this, for sure. But this is still one of the best cubes, and it's uh, cheap to buy. Next cube is the Waylong. The Waylong is still good. It is kind of getting old, and this is the mini. So if you like this, then this is the mini for smaller reasons. The mini is the size of a... Okay, the mini is 55 millimeters, and this is 57. The feel of this Waylong is smooth. A uh, slight bumpy feeling, actually. You can feel bumpiness when you're turning. Uh, not a lot. When you're moving fast, you don't really feel too much bump, but you kind of still get that bumpy feeling going on. But it's it's still smooth, so that makes up for the feel. Uh, corner cutting is good, for sure. Locks happen a little bit on this thing. Uh, just a little bit.
pops almost never happen. If you do have it really loose though, yes, it can pop. But generally speaking, pop should not happen. And the mini one uh, is the same thing, except it's mini. So some people feel like the mini is smoother, but that's because it's just, it feels more compact in your hand. Uh, and that, that gives you the illusion that it's smoother, but they're both the same smoothness. So if you like this, then you'll like the mini. Next cube is the Li Ying. And I'm going to be con uh, telling you about the onion cube, the Yu Ying. The Li Ying is light feeling. It feels light in your hand. Uh, very hollow feeling because the pieces are kind of hollow. This is fast. It feels smooth with a slight crispy feel to it um, and mixed in with the hollow feel when you're turning it. This thing is fast and the corner cutting is nice. Uh, it doesn't really lock up on you. I would say some people can get lock ups though if, if you're not so used to a cube feeling so light or hollow feeling then you might be a little bit too rough on it and then that will cause some lock ups. But if you're not too rough on it, you should not really get much lockups on this. And with the Yi Ying, Yu Ying, uh, Onion Cube, I'm going to call it the Onion Cube. This is just a upgrade to this in a way. Uh, it feels pretty much the exact same, except this one is a little bit slower. So this is super fast. And this is fast, but not as fast as the rest of these cubes. Next cube is the Olong version 1 and the mini version 1. Alright, so Olong version 1. Very, very nice cube. And this cube is very fast. The feel of this thing on the outside, it feels bubbly. Like bubbly on the outside. Uh, when you're turning it though, it's so smooth. You can feel a slight bump when you're turning it. Uh, but not a problem at all. Because when you, you know, when you're performing out or just solving the cube uh, you don't really feel that you just feel smooth goodness you know corner cutting is of course nice uh, uh, locks happen a little bit um, for me it's because uh, the the feel the, the the roundedness of the pieces kind of throw me off a little bit so I tend to sometimes get locks on this uh, just a little bit though. Uh, this thing pops sometimes, depends on uh, how you tension it actually. But yes, it can pop and it can corner twist. It's it's known for its corner twisting now. It easily, I get a bunch of corner twists, but I try to not let it bother me, but it happens. The mini is just about the same, except it's smaller. It's 50, I think it's about 54.5, something like that. So it may feel a little bit smoother, but that's really an illusion. They're both the same smoothness. It's just, this is more compact in your hands. So it's just, you know, feels smoother in a way, but they're really the same smoothness. And the last cube I want to go over is the Olong version two. Uh, the first batch of this cube was not good, but then they made a second batch, which was good. And I have the second batch, so I'm going to talk about this one. The feel of this on the outside feels boxier than the Olong version 1. Especially if you're used to the Olong version 1, this is going to feel a little bit boxy in your hand. hands. Feel of this thing, it is smooth. With a slight, slight bumpy-ish feel. Uh, more, like, more like crispy feel to it. But mostly smooth. Corner cut in is of course good. Speed is fast. Uh, you can make it fast if you want to and it is very nice. I get very very little locks, almost no locks on this I would say. And pops, I do tend to get pops maybe once every 1500 solve because my tensions are kind of loose. But that little bit of popping is not even a bother at all. Uh, they did fix the corner cut it, uh, the corner twist in problem, but it still can happen, but very, very, very rarely. Super nice cube. 
A lot of people use this as their main uh, because it's uh, very popular and very, uh, very good, very good cube. So we're coming towards the end of the video and you probably have noticed that a lot of these cubes sound similar to each other and that's because all of them have really good traits. All of them have good feel, good speed, good corner cutting, uh, doesn't really lock up, no pops really, overall just a great cube. Um, a lot of them have that smooth feeling to them and it's hard to describe the individual smoothness so that is why they sound so similar because all of them are great and it just depends on what you're looking for um, maybe I described it enough for you to think oh maybe I like this cube the best what is this one this is the mini way long okay cool so yeah hopefully this video helped you you know Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time. Bye. All right, here it is. So the, these are not stickers. These are printed on. So I'm imagining I could just, it will eventually scratch off or something.